I think I was always interested in science and technology. The world is a fascinating place, and science and technology, for me, was an important part of it. Technology has no borders. Good ideas, simple ideas, and evolution is a simple idea. They go all over the world, they're adopted quickly, and clever people can take those ideas and those methods and come up with beautiful solutions to thousands of problems that I never even would have thought of. I think that using biology and rewriting the DNA so that the biological world can solve human problems has an enormous potential to help us live in a sustainable fashion, sharing this planet with everything else without destroying the environment. Directed evolution has become the dominant approach to biological engineering, both in academic laboratories and in the biotechnology industry. It's widely used for the production of new enzymes and antibodies, therapeutic proteins, and engineered cellular systems. Directed evolution essentially displaced the dominant methods for biological engineering in the 1990s, which involved computational approaches and approaches based on structural biology. What Francis Arnold realized before anyone else is that a, an approach to biomolecular engineering based on evolution would work both faster and better than computationally or structurally based methods. Her ideas have uh, proven to be even righter than she may have expected at the outset. When we design a protein, we are writing out the DNA that encodes a beautiful, intricate, highly functional molecule, something that does something that no human knows how to do. Someone has to compose that DNA code, and evolution is the most powerful algorithm for doing that. So directed evolution allows me to discover the mutations that will confer whole new properties to the biological world, whole new capabilities that it didn't have before. That way I can rewrite the code of life to do and to solve problems for me that it couldn't solve before. In genetic recombination, we take larger stretches of DNA for example, from two different strains. It would, might be like um, almost sexual recombination. We have a male and a female. We would take two different sources of DNA, mix them together, and see if we could develop uh, offspring that had better characteristics. Well, one of the major advances Francis made in, in this area was a process called STEP, staggered extension process. Uh, it's a way of overcoming many of the issues that um, DNA shuffling, as it was called, uh, had. In DNA shuffling, you needed to have parents that were very, very similar. Otherwise, the offspring tended to just represent the parents and not a mixture. Francis's step process overcame that, and it gave us a route, instead of sampling a lot of um, enzymes that had reduced function, these enzymes had much improved function because they were already quite active. So Francis was able to modify these to do things that had never been done before in nature. So she uh, showed that she could use this directed evolution approach to make enzymes work on reactants that were not found in nature and also to um, <coughs> work on um, reactions that chemists would like to do but had difficulty doing. So this initial work developed a, a number of important approaches in industrial biotechnology and in healthcare. I'm particularly pleased to see clean biological processes replace toxic chemical ones, things that created pollution and had many wasteful products in the past can now be made by enzymes in a clean, sustainable fashion. Evolution will go where it goes, and I think with the creativity of the scientists who use these tools to solve problems that we can't even know about today, we will see a future that uses biology in a much more effective fashion.